Nelson Mandela once said, Our children are the rock on which our future will be built, our greatest asset as a nation. They will be the leaders of our country, the creators of our national wealth, those who care for and protect our people. Child Protection Policy So what is a child protection policy and what is it all about? First, let's define the meaning of children. Children is defined in the context of the United Nations Conventions on the Rights of the Child ratified in 1989. The convention defines a child as any human being under the age of 18 years of age. What is the purpose of the child protection policy? The aim of the University of the South Pacific is to safeguard the rights and interests of children and its pledged initiatives towards eliminating incidences of breaches against children. For the purpose of this policy, USP considers a child to be a person under the age of 18 years. The university procedures are as follows. The university requires the active support and cooperation of the entire university community, whether they are working directly with or near children. The university expects all businesses operating on its premises, using its services or receiving its support to comply with this policy noting that breaches may directly affect the interests and reputation of the University of the South Pacific. Staff, students, contractors and volunteers must meet the terms of the child protection policy and procedure and will be held accountable for complying with these. This will require self-assessment and disclosure as appropriate. Breaches will be dealt with under the relevant staff and student disciplinary procedures. Similarly, Contractors and volunteers will face equivalent sanctions for non-compliance. Respective faculty deans and heads of school, campus directors and head of departments are required to identify and manage interactions with children in their areas of responsibility and ensure that general or specific training is delivered to staff in accordance with local assessment and consistent with this policy and procedure. Number two are responsible for compliance with the policy and procedure in their respective areas of work and may be required to report to the Vice-Chancellor and President and Audit and Risk Committee of Council periodically. Number three, are invited to incorporate planning and monitoring of this requirement in their faculties, sectional and regional campus plans. Number four, are also accountable for child protection within their areas of responsibility. They may delegate their responsibilities to managers and supervisors. This responsibility includes ensuring that businesses operating on the university premises, using its services, or receiving support implement appropriate child protection procedures. Child Protection Coordinator Officer The Child Protection Coordinator Officer is central to the effective implementation of the Child Protection Policy and overall strategy of the university and the provision of effective support to all students, including those with disabilities, across the region. Acting as the key contact, that is focal point, for students within a faculty, section or regional camps, the CPC will provide support, information and guidance to students. The CPC will play a critical role in disseminating information and providing training and capacity building programs and an initial reference point for colleagues within their faculty campus or section. The university will exercise zero tolerance to sexual harassment and bullying of any child. All incidences of sexual harassment and bullying must be lodged through the university's sexual harassment hotline 1567.